I'm Steve for This Hook with Cars, and last time with this car, I took the engine out of this 1966 MG Midget. The engine was making some really bad noises and leaking a lot of oil. There was an abnormal amount of oil in the bell housing when I separated the transmission from the engine, but other than that, I don't see anything wrong on the exterior of this engine. So we'll need to tear it down and find out what happened. I'm going to start with something really simple. Just take out the spark plugs. We'll look down in there and see if we see anything. None of the spark plugs looked funny. There's no oil on them. They aren't broken. There isn't pieces of metal on them. Now I'll just take a light, look down inside there, see if I see anything. It's real hard to show you anything on camera, but I don't see anything obviously wrong straight away. Next, I'm going to take the valve cover off. Nothing obviously wrong here, but I didn't expect to find anything under the valve cover. I am most curious about what it looks like when we take the head off. So let's just do that real quick because it's easy to do. I need to not forget to take the little bypass hose off before I try to take the head off. Just going to pull that bypass hose out I can leave it attached to the water pump, but now it's loose up here, and that'll let the head come off. There's going to be quite a lot of corrosion here on these studs between the head. So I'm just trying to rock it back and forth and get that freed up a little bit, because that's what's holding the head from coming up, is the corrosion, especially with this stud right here. I can see gaps here and here. These two studs came out. This one here, I think, is what's holding the head on right now. I'm going to take two of these nuts and put them together here, see if I can spin this stud out. I'm going to flip this wrench over before I put the other nut on there. Now that the two nuts are jammed together, I'm going to try to unspin this stud using this wrench. And it looks like it's coming. You can see how corroded that was because the wrench is still hard to turn. Well, that popped me all the way. Looking at the bottom of the head, you see our valves are still all intact. Nothing's burnt up. Obviously looks like an old engine, but I don't see anything catastrophically wrong here. Looking at the piston, we've got some dirt in here. But all the cylinders look pretty good. We do have these divots on the top of this cylinder. Not sure what that is, if someone put that in there on purpose. The only forward ridge, there's quite a pronounced ridge at the top of these cylinders. It's definitely been a long time since it was overhauled. I am a little surprised that we didn't find a hole in one of these pistons where it was building up crankcase pressure, but this does not mean that the rings are in good shape. So I guess the next step is we need to flip it over, check out the bearings, and then get the rods and pistons out. Before I can flip the engine over, I will need to drain out the oil. When you're taking out an oil plug, always push it against the engine until you're pretty sure that it has been released. That way you don't get oil all over yourself. So hold it pressed against the engine, then when you're pretty sure the threads are released, pull it out. Do you hear that? There's pieces rolling around inside the oil pan. That's definitely not a good sign. So I'll get these pan bolts off. We'll take a look in there. This oil pan was glued on, so I'm going to have to break the seal all the way around it in order to get it off. There 
There's all kinds of metal here on the oil pump screen. This is all metal. If we look inside the pan, this is where the oil pickup is. Down in here, this is all chunks and pieces of metal there too. There's big pieces of something right here. This isn't gasket, this is actually metal. This must be part of one of the bearings. There's another big piece. So I think it's safe to say that this was a pretty catastrophic failure, although it might not be the end of this engine. Look at this cap, there's a piece of metal jammed right there. I just noticed this. This piece is actually round like something broke. Is this part of the dipstick and failure caused this to break off? Not sure right now. These main caps have these little locks so I'll have to bend this down before I can undo these bolts. But before I take the main caps off I'm going to take the oil pickup out by undoing this bolt here as well as the two little bolts on each side of the screen. I'm going to put these bolts back where they came from for safekeeping. Usually I don't take the bolts out of the cap right away because I can use them to lift it up. I'm just, I'm going to squeeze the bolts together, rock the cap, see if I can get it to come up. There we go. There were some pieces of metal jammed in there, just on the side right here. But the bearing itself, it looks all right. Looks like it has started to wear down to the copper, but this is definitely not our problem bearing. Look at this, I just noticed this, now that the oil screen is out of the way, you can see the discoloring of this uh, rod here is different. From the others and that's because it has gotten very very hot one of the bolts has fallen out of this as well it could have been loosened because it got so hot when the bearing went or the bolt falling out or loosening could have been the cause of the bearing going out as well, well this is obviously where our main problem is so let's get the other rod bolt out take a look at this all right, let's pull this cap off. Yep, there is no bearing left there. Ooh, not sure what that is. I think it's what's left of some of the bearing right here. That's bearing. It might have not only come apart, but also spun inside there. Let's pound that piston out and take a better look. There's the other rod bolt, looks a little bent. Now we have a better look at some of the damage. Chunks of something right there. There's what's left of the bearing. It should not look like that. Obviously this, this crankshaft is very scored, it's very rough. Here's our other crank bolt. Got smashed by something. Has the rest of the bearing stuck to it. Chunk of something. Oh, well, this is the nut. This is the nut that would have held that rod bolt in. Looks like it got chewed up pretty good by something. Well, there we have it. I guess we found out what went wrong. So the next step, I need to get the crankshaft out of the engine, take it to the machine shop, and let them tell me if the crankshaft can be saved or not. If it can't be saved, then I need to think about whether or not I want to rebuild this engine or get a completely different engine.
Well, that's it for today. We found out that one of the rods had a problem in this engine. I'm going to need some time to decide what I'm going to do here, whether I'm going to try to rebuild this engine or we'll drop in a different engine. Or maybe I'll just find another engine that I have sitting around in the back and rebuild that one. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.